Amanda Crone, who's with uh, represent, uh, Congresswoman Eddie Grace Johnson's office. Good evening. My name is Amanda Crow, and I'm here on behalf of Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. She could not be here today, but did not want to miss an opportunity to offer a position statement on the proposal offered by TCEQ. First, I would like to start by acknowledging the effort of TCEQ staff in developing the proposal we are discussing today. As we all know, the intent of the proposal is to reduce and maintain air pollution emissions standards so that the Dallas-Fort Worth region is in compliance with the national ozone standards to ensure the safety and protection of our residents. Unfortunately, there are concerns that TCEQ's current state implementation plan will still fall short of complying with federal standards and that additional steps may be needed to protect the health of our citizens. According to the Dallas County Medical Society, which is in Texas Congressional District 30, the current plan does not meet the scientific, peer-reviewed modeling methods developed by UT Southwestern Medical School, nor the University of North Texas experts. As someone who worked in the health field before she entered public office, Congresswoman Johnson is very sensitive to the problems arising from poor air quality and the damaging impact they can have on the health of Texans, especially those who are already battling health conditions and young children. She believes more must be done to protect sensitive populations from the negative health effects of ozone. As many of you know, the American Lung Association has given the air quality in Dallas a grade of F. This is unacceptable now more than ever. Texans need strong leadership and bold action. I'm hopeful that TCEQ is up to the challenge and would call on EPA to ensure that the right of Texans to clean air and water is protected. Some may argue that the federal ozone standard will hurt the Texas economy, but Congresswoman Johnson believes that the negative impacts of poor air quality, such as high health care costs and lost productivity, far outweigh the cost of providing cleaner air. In fact, it is Congresswoman Johnson's belief that effective regulations will have a positive economic impact. By promoting job creation, encouraging scientific innovation, and promoting the creation of new technologies, as a result, the hard-working Texas workforce will be the ones to benefit in the end. As ranking member of the House Committee on Science, Space, and Technology, Congresswoman Johnson takes the protection of human health and the environment very seriously and is always pushing for practices and regulations based on the best available science. <coughs> Working together, Congresswoman Johnson believes that we can make even greater strides toward environmental justice and cleaner air for all. She's optimistic about what we will achieve moving forward. She looks forward to hearing about further progress and collaboration between federal and state agencies to develop a successful strategy for preserving the environment and improving the health of the Dallas-Fort Worth region, especially the residents of Texas Congressional District 30. Thank you. Next, and the next one okay, Please. yes, sir. Thank you.